Hello everybody, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer who develops features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Welcome to these videos where we go through some of the work that I've been getting up to this week, or in the last case, the last few weeks. Um, funny thing about that, so uh, yesterday uh, one of my largest Patreon supporters marched into this room and said to me, are you going to make a video tomorrow? And I said, no. And I said, well, you haven't made a video for the past few weeks. And I said, I know. And they said, well, you should make one then. I was like, okay, you're both my biggest supporter and my wife. I, I can concede to making a video. I tried to explain that the reasons that I didn't want to make a video every week was because um, this project that I'm working on with color stuff is kind of boring. I mean, it is kind of interesting in some ways, but it's a lot of um, slow, gradual progress in order to um, refactor and reform the way Inkscape does colors holistically. And also, I felt like some of my videos were coming across a bit negative um, in terms of just presenting my frustrations to you. And I, and I didn't want this to be a Martin complains about um, the work that he has committed himself to, to doing. Um, but also, on the other hand, it is important for me to explain to you guys uh, about what it is that I'm actually working on. Because fundamentally, the project here is you pay me and I work for you. Um, you want Inkscape to be better, and I am here ready to make Inkscape better for you. And uh, this deal that we have of um, spreading these videos, uh, subscribing to my Patreon, um, is fundamentally about uh, engaging with users and bringing them into the pro project so that the project is driven by and paid for by the users of Inkscape. And uh, my thanks goes out to you for basically allowing me to spend time on Inkscape. Um, okay, so let's talk about some of the stuff that I've been getting up to. I, I've actually worked on a few bugs um, to do with selecting in master and a few things that were broken, but they're boring, so I'm not going to talk about them. Um, let's talk about color stuff. So this morning, uh, I sat down with René de Hassel, who is Inkscape's macOS expert, and we had to work out a problem of the reason why this new color branch um, has been failing um, on Mac OS for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I couldn't tell from the test logs why it was failing. And I don't have a Mac OS machine myself. So he was very kind to sit down. And we, we were on a video chat for about three hours, um, slowly going through the problem, getting him to test various things. And we found out that Mac OS has a, um, what now, 11 year old bug to do with parsing doubles out of strings. That basically means um, taking a decimal that's printed in a string and, and turning it into a number that you can do things with. And this bug is essentially because some of the pro programmers say that they're doing it the right way, and some of the programmers say, no, no, that's not the right way to do it. And they because they don't agree, nobody's fixed it. Uh, so in order to for me to fix it for Mac OS so that this thing works correctly, uh, I've had to essentially create an entire new parser for numbers just for Mac OS. You're welcome. Um, but, but that problem is now fixed, uh, thanks to Rebrene. Uh, big props to him. Um, another per per person that I wanted to give a big shout out to is uh, Tamir Baha. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right there. Um, they came in uh, because I asked for some help with the C++ a few weeks ago, and they've stayed on doing code review in GitLab. And I want to give a big thank you to them because uh, polishing this code and getting more brains involved to just make sure that everything is tightened up as much as it can, can be uh, saves a lot of problems down the line because it means that the code is much more well considered. Multiple human beings have looked at it and decided that it's either good or like what could be improved. And their involvement... Um, has really helped me sharpen up some of the code. So thank you very much. Um, when it comes to like what it is that I'm not, I'm not really stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm just progressing at a speed that is slower than I want to. Um, it's to do with the way the fill and stroke dialog works. Um, the way that I described it in a tooth last week is that uh, refactoring the fill and stroke dialog is like diffusing a Soviet era bomb. Is like I'm fairly certain that most of it is junk, 
but I just don't know which part of it is junk to get rid of. And if I get rid of the wrong thing, it will explode. So uh, it's a bit of a process of working out why updating styles from the fill and stroke dialogue is so bad. Um, and it basically boils down to the way in which you select multiple objects and all of the styles get um, merged together and then sent through this complicated pipe of multiple layers of things to eventually end up at the fill and stroke dialogue where the color gets then sucked back out and then displayed to you. And then you modify the color and then that color gets stamped back into a style object and then gets sent back through a pipe and gets splatted on whatever objects are selected at the time. Um, this then turns into an explosion of events because all of those objects have now been modified. So they get modified events get spread out through the rest of Inkscape. And the problem is that the fill and stroke dialog doesn't know that those responses it gets back are uh, from itself. Like it, it caused that event cascade. Um, and so there's a whole bunch of hacks currently to do with stopping itself from constantly updating itself when you change something. Uh, but my new code is cleaner, so it wants to listen. It wants to hear when those, modify, those modifiers happen. And um, so what I've had to do is I had to very carefully pick apart how the signal propagation happens, uh, probably decouple the way the style merging happens, and then make sure that objects can be updated uh, specifically in such a way that the, the echoes back of events don't cause the fill and stroke dialog to over update itself, either because it changes the colors that you're actually working with, or because it um, causes the, the dialog to get locked in an in infinite loop. Um, that problem is, isn't actually fixed yet, but I'm definitely a long way towards fixing it. It's just taking me weeks to fix, which is not really where I want to be, but um, hopefully when it's fixed, the fill and stroke dialogue will be much more maintainable and also it'll be faster because it won't be doing quite so many things. Okay, I said I wouldn't get into any gripes about like uh, <laughs> the frustrations about, about some of the stuff that I'm getting stuck on. Um, let's talk about some of the stuff that's going on in Inkscape more broadly. These are things that are happening uh, with other developers and other contributors to the project. Uh, first of all, the GTK4 branch. Um, so there's this whole bunch of work that's happening with the new graphics framework called GTK4, and the, the PBS and TAV are essentially slowly trying to land this massive plane onto master. They're basically trying to uh, take 12,000 lines of modified lines of code and, and merge them in. And they have to do this very, very carefully because some of the code that they're depending upon hasn't been released yet upstream, which means that if they do it too quickly and too brashly, uh, other developers won't be able to compile Inkscape. Other developers won't be able to work on Inkscape anymore. Um, so that that they have to make sure that they're doing this right. And 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 it's been great to actually see them um, take this job very seriously. Uh, neither of them are being paid to do this work and they are definitely handling it in a, in a, in a very professional way and, I, and I'm, uh, I would take my hat off to them but I, I like it on for the video um, also uh, I want to highlight the work that's been going on with the mentors and the people doing Google Summer of Code there's a lot of pe people who have joined Inkscape in the last few weeks to do Google Summer of Code stuff and a lot of mentors who have been answering their questions in the chat rooms um, you guys are all doing great work. I'm always excited to see what students do with Inkscape because they have such bright ideas, such very interesting things. Even though not all pro projects are successful, the interest in working on Ink Inkscape is always healthy. Um, welcome, everybody. If you've got any quiet questions, do ask them in, in the chat. Uh, we try and foster a community of helpfulness, and no question is too much. Um, okay, so that's probably enough for this week. Um, if you have any comments about stuff that's going on in Inkscape or the release for 1.4, um, let us know in the comments. I 
may not make a video every week while I'm doing the color stuff, I think. But I can promise you that the time that I would spend making a video, I will spend writing code. So at least it's not like I'm just sitting on my behind. I'm trying to get stuff done. Um, but also because like I'm not entirely sure that there's enough content here to keep videos interesting. Um, but do spread the videos around. Um, Chris Rogers and I are trying to come up with a with a, um, a promotion video for the for the color stuff, so I can get more interest in subscribing to the Patreon and also do get maybe some corporate sponsors, uh, so I can spend more time, more of my work time on the actual problem. Um, but in the meantime, please keep sharing these videos. If you're on places like Twitter and Facebook and other things, uh, see if you can drum up more interest in it because I think there are a lot of artists and other companies who should be interested in this work and I think would be interested to fund it and at least help push it for forwards, but they don't know about it yet. They, they haven't heard the good news that this problem is being worked on and it needs their help. Um, so yeah, if you, if you can help in that regard, I would be forever gra grateful. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you very much for watching th this week and I will see you again soon. Awesome.